Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we continue on with the nice question series um, of videos that we're doing. Today's question comes from Hornsby Girls and it comes from their extension one 2023 paper. Um, it's actually the last question in the paper. So it's a nice question um, on vectors in uh, specifically re revolving around geometric proof. So thought I'd bring that to you, take you through it. But before I do that, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, tell your friends and like the video. Guys, let's get started. So the question from Horns Girls looks like this. So let me zoom out a bit so you can read it. So we have a point a a M N, which lies on a generic line AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Um, all the MN, ABC are all constants. Okay, cool. Um, and vector V overlaps with this line. So there's a vector there and it overlaps with the line, right? That's what's given. And also the origin looks like to be the coordinate there. Part one, show that the line actually overlaps, right? Okay. And then using vector projection, show that the perpendicular distance from O to L, so this line here, right, is that distance, uh, that expression there. Okay, for four marks. Wow. So five marks, final five marks in the three unit paper for Hornsby Girls. So, you know, I don't think it's something to be like, you know, it's, it, I don't think it's too easy. Um, don't think it's too hard either. So let's let's unpick this a bit. So the first question, show that this guy overlaps with the line. Now, the way vectors work, because vectors are movable, right? It's a, it's a relative concept between two points. What we need to really show here, if it was to overlap with the line, is to show that they have the same gradient, right? That is the absolute key here. So firstly, before I do this, right? So before I deal with the vector part, let's look at the straight line, right? So for the line L, I can see that it's, sorry, put equal sign there, put colon, um, AX plus BY plus C equals zero, right? If I made Y the subject to get it into uh, Y equals MX uh, plus B form, um, or MX plus C now, I think that's the notation people use, um, make Y the subject, so throw AX, throw C on the other side, divide everything by B, yeah, that will give me an indicator of it's gradient. So there's the gradient there. So if I circle that, I go, therefore, actually I went to that in pink. Therefore, the gradient of L is equal to negative A on B, right? And since the vector V, right, equals to negative B A, where we know, right, that this is like the X value and this is like the Y value, right? Yeah, the gradient of vector would be rise over run. So A on negative B, which equals to um, the vector of L. So vector V equals that. So therefore vector L, so gradient L equals to gradient V. Write that better. Yeah, therefore overlaps, right? So I think the key uh, point to you getting your one mark is to demonstrate that the gradients are equal. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Nothing too fancy there. Now, the next part. What are we looking at, guys? Show that the perpendicular distance. So I want this distance here, right? So it's my green pen there. Show that this distance here, right? Distance OC is equal to that expression. Now, feels like there's a right angle here. Feels like Pythagoras, right? Feels like Pythagoras. So to get Pythagoras, it's this triangle that I'm dealing with here. All right, with a right angle there. Guys, I'm going to try to find an expression for um, the distance of o OA or AO and the distance of AC. And then we're going to use it with Pythagoras to find um, the side that I want. So, you know what? Just so that I have everything in the same slide, can I just throw this guy downstairs here? All right. Might just move that over here. Okay, perfect. So now I have this whole whiteboard here. All right, cool. So part two, All right? So I have something that looks like, I'm just gonna draw that diagram again, All right? This is A, O, and I have those two coordinates, All right? So this is zero, zero, and I think A was MN, wasn't it? All right, A is MN. So easily I can find an expression for that. And then as I'm coming down here, um, what do they call this? 
Find C. Right, that's the vector projection down here, right? So, okay, let's start with AO. So, AO as a vector, right? Remember, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to use Pythagoras. So, ultimately, I'm going to have to find the magnitude of that, but let's find the expression first. So, um, in terms of vectors, it would be O minus A, so it would be negative M, negative N, right? As a column vector like that. So, therefore, I can see that its magnitude is going to be square root of M squared N squared, right? Yeah, so start there. Now, what am I after? So now that I've done this side, I need this side now, right? AC, so AC is just the vector projection, right? So I'd say AC is equal to proj, right? Top be projected onto bottom. So AO projected onto AC. Actually it was AC, yep, onto AC. Yeah, AC is just a vector. So let's just project it onto V maybe. Yeah, so V, just to be clear, is like this line here, right? So from here to here, that's V, right? Yep, so I'm projecting onto V. So the formula for that is equal to um, V dot with AO over V magnitude squared. That's the scalar and then multiply that by V. Right, so now I've got V as a vector, right? That's minus BA. So let me just write that quickly over here. So V is minus BA and I've got AO, right? I, I've got that over here. So let's get started on that. So therefore, AC equals two. So dot product between um, V and AO, so it'll be um, minus B times minus M plus um, A times minus N, right? All over magnitude of V, that's just square root of B squared plus A squared, right? And then square that, and all this outside of a scalar multiplied with the vector V, which is, um, minus BA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's clean this up. So what's the top bit become? It becomes MB minus, well, let's put it in alphabetical order, right? BM minus um, AN all over A squared plus B squared. B, then multiply that by side here. Yeah. Now, what I need now is basically I need the, wait, did I get the plus and minus throughout? Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. Um, dot product. So he's checking my math here, right? Just don't want to be, yeah, I think that's right. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's right. Now, so guys, I want the length of this, right? So um, let's see. So that's the vector projection. Perfect. All right. And so the length of this is going to be times the magnitude of that. Okay, cool. So therefore, magnitude of AC, let's see, let's see, right, equals two. Um, take that scalar outside. Perfect. A squared plus B squared multiplied by the magnitude of this guy. So B, A squared plus B squared. And so what you can then simplify it to, so one of these, right? So maybe this guy cancels out and then this guy leaves it as a square root on the bottom sort of thing, right? So then therefore magnitude of AC equals two, BM minus AN all over square root. A squared plus B squared, okay, cool. Now that I've got two of the magnitudes, right? So just to be clear, what have I got? I've got magnitude of that, that's this guy. I've got magnitude of this, that's this guy. So then I need the green one, right? So let's apply Pythagoras to this, right? So I think I have space. Um, what I'm gonna do, just move this 
slightly over, but that's okay. Then I'll utilize, I'll just keep going and then um, see how it goes. Um, so therefore, um, OC magnitude squared equals to um, O, or AO, did I call it? AO magnitude squared minus, right? Because that's the, that's the hypotenuse, AO. So minus AC magnitude squared. And so right now that equals to, so AO magnitude squared is um, M squared plus N squared, squared, I believe. Quickly look up. I think that's it, yep. Yep. And then this guy squared. So it'll be BM minus a n on a squared plus b squared squared just to be clear right color code that so this is blue this was pink right and it feels like algebra right now right feels like algebra guys so ooh, i've got no more space for this algebra to happen you know so you know what i am gonna bring it out upstairs here just gives me more vertical space to, to work with, right? Okay. So let's see what I got. So I've got m squared plus n squared minus this guy squared. Now, what should I do, guys? What should I do? Feels like I got a perfect square up here. Don't know whether to expand that yet. Maybe I will. Over, so you know, it looks like a six, but I assure you that's a b. a squared plus b squared. Yeah. Feels like I should, um, Oh no, the square's gone, right? So sorry, the square root's gone. So get rid of that. Yeah, because of the square. Um, common denominator, maybe, and then expand everything and see where that takes me. So a squared plus b squared. I've got m squared plus n squared times a squared plus b squared minus this sort of perfect square. Yeah, guys, expand the top. Yeah, expand the top. See what I get, a squared plus b squared. So I've got a squared m squared plus a squared n squared. b squared n squared. Then subtracting the b squared m squared. God, I don't have enough um, horizontal space. So I'm just going to bring it over. So that's minus, so I'll put a bracket here, right? Um, minus 2ABMN. Jeez, I still don't have enough. Let me sort of ungroup that. Just need one more term in there. That's plus A squared N squared. Okay. So it feels like I can cancel out this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy, right? And if you think about it, look at this, right? AM, BN, and then plus two in the middle, guys. Feels like a perfect square there, right? So I'm just going to factorize that into AM plus BN, perfect square, all over A squared plus B squared. All right. It's at this point where I go, I'm expecting that to be my answer, right? If you look at that, looks like, that's my answer, but they want me to prove that E equals to, it's actually very similar, right? Very similar. By the way, this is O squared, right? O o OC squared, right? Magnitude of OC squared. Yeah, so I'm gonna square root it. So the denominator, you can sort of see there, it looks good, right? Denominator, if I square root it, square root that looks the same, but the top, for some reason, they have C and I don't. Now, where's that come in, right? So let me move this over. I'll show you where that comes in. Just move this over a bit, yeah. Yeah, so therefore, oops, wrong color. Therefore, magnitude of OC squared equals to this. Now, how do I get the C in, in the question? We're gonna use this, right? Since, since the point A, which is negative, uh, was it negative A? What's it, what's it called? Uh, no, MN, since MN, lies on L, sub it in, right? So sub lies on L, which is, uh, I'll do the full working out here just so you can visualize it, right? Lies on L, which is AX plus BY plus C equals zero, right? 
I'm going to sub m into the x value and sub n into the y value. And then I reckon I get something that looks like I can make C the subject, right? So let's see. Therefore, am plus bn plus c equals zero. Can you see, guys, with this, right? am plus bn, am plus bn. I'm going to make that the subject so I can see that therefore am plus bn equals to negative c. Guys, I'm going to plug that in, right? I'm going to delete this highlight and then show you the plug-in and then plug this guy into here. All right? Therefore, yeah, OC, now that was squared, right? So magnitude, I'm going to square root it. We square root of negative C squared over A squared plus B squared, right? Which we know if I square root a squared, that's the magnitude, right? Yeah, so therefore that equals to magnitude of C, right? Over square root of A squared plus B squared. Tick, tick. How's that? Yeah, guys, so that was, I mean, I like this question because A, there's no numbers, right? Geometric proofs always makes it a bit harder, but B, it's actually not that bad, right? It's actually not bad. It's all about getting um, the vector projection to get the pink bit, right? So this bit here, right? It's all to do with proje uh, um, vector projections. Once you get the blue and the pink, it's all to do with Pythagoras. Pythagoras and then some algebra to get you there. And then once you get down to a point where you get an expression that doesn't have C, which the question does have C, try to find it. Oh, in this case, A lies on the point, sub it in, and you got it. Guys, hopefully that was okay. Once again, if you like that, like the video, subscribe, and tell your friends. I'll see you guys at the next one.